In the last episode, we talked about arrays. Right now, I want to talk about something which is called an associative array. These types of arrays are similar to the index array that we've discussed in the previous episode. With an associative array, every value can be assigned with a user-defined key of string type. So let's create a new array and set the name equal to cars. And what we want to put inside the parentheses is the mileage that you see on the dashboard of a car. So let's say the first car has a mileage of 50,500, the second one has a mileage of 40,700, and the third one has a mileage of 60,300. So if we far dump our array, if we save it, refresh the browser, you can see the output. Right now, you can see that index 0 is equal to 50,500. But if we use an associative array, we can change the index to a string. So let's try it out. The way you do that is going right in front of the array value, write down double quotes, and inside the double quotes, you want to write down the key that you want to associate with the 50,500. So let's say that we want to write down Aldi. And the way you associate it is with an equal sign and a greater than sign. Let's do the same for the second one, which is equal to BMW. And let's associate it. Let's, let me zoom out a little bit. And for the third one as well, which is a Mercedes. Let's save it. Refresh the browser. You can see that the index is changed to the keys that we assigned. So Audi placed by zero, which is equal to a float of 50.5, and BMW is equal to a float as well of 40.7. So let's replace the far dump with a print underscore R. Let's save it, refresh the browser. Print R basically prints it out in a human readable form. And this must make more sense, because Audi is equal to 50.5, BMW is equal to 40.7. There's another way of creating an associative array. I don't recommend using this one, but I will be showing it to you in case you come across it on the web. So let's remove our print underscore R and let's create a new variable card called car1 followed by a set of brackets and set it equal to something. So what we want to put inside our brackets is, is the key. So let's say that we want to create a car1 which has a key of Mercedes, and the value has to be 60.300. Let's go beneath our associative array, and let's echo out car1, followed by the brackets, and inside the brackets, Mercedes. Save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the 60.3 is printed out. What I want to do next is something that we will discuss later on, but I want to show you right now because it's very useful when you use associative arrays. Let's create a for each loop by writing down for each, followed by a set of parentheses and curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, you want to loop through the array named cars, followed by a keyword in PHP named s. And we want to create a new variable with the name key, and we want to associate it with the value. What we did right here after the S is basically what we did inside our cars array. So key is assigned to Audi and value is assigned to the value that's associated with it. Let's create an echo. So what we basically want to echo out is my, let's concatenate it, key has another one, value, mileage and let's add a break save it refresh the browser and you can see that all the array values are printed out this was it for this episode if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button